One, two. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to warmly welcome all of you and the people participating on the social media. I think it's Grand Balls and Grand Bond, and Grand Bond being in hospital in Mount McGavin, so we wish you good recovery, good health, and well-being this day. As we gather for the baptism, and now we're going to ask, first of all, the mummy and daddy, what name do you give your child? And what do you ask of God's church for Sienna Marie, and you say baptism? Now, you have asked to have your child baptized, um, Rory and Kelsey. And so you're accepting the responsibility of training young Sienna Marie in the practice of the faith. It'll be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Mommy and Daddy, do you clearly understand what you're undertaking? And the godparents here today is uh, Christina and Ryan. Christina and Ryan, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? In what way? Everybody always has a bit of silence at that time because they're not expecting that question to be asked. But not you. You're able to say what's expected. Well done to you too there. 99.9% .9 just freeze. But uh, it makes you think. It makes you think about what it is as a godparent that is asked of you. And I suppose it is, as you say, your faith, your love, and the child seeing your love and action in life and your faith and action and that helps the child as well to see you as representatives of the, the wider community. Now, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy in its name. I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. And now trust, trace the cross on your forehead, young Sienna Marie, and invite your parents and godparents to do the same.
and the godparents to do the same. Sign of the cross with your thumb on the child's forehead. We have now a gospel reading. It's the reading of Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Jesus came up and spoke to his disciples. He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe all the commands I gave you. Know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, Lord Jesus Christ. Are those words there uttered by Jesus to the disciples? And know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. That's a beautiful statement, and a beautiful statement for your child to be aware of and made aware of through life, that God is with young Sienna Marie all the days of her life and so wherever she goes in life God is there with her in life she may have her hopes but she may also have her disappointments but she always know that God is always there wherever she goes that gives hope and so nothing can break her because she knows God is there to lift her up uh, there is that awareness of that help and that strength that comes from God. And you know, parents can give the child everything. And yet, the one important thing can be missed. And that is faith and love. And if you give your child great love and give your child great faith, then the child will be a happy child. But if you give your child no love and no faith, but everything else, it will not make for a happy person. And uh, to give a child faith and love is a good foundation for a solid life, a happy life. And it's what our community and what society needs as people, young children, who are brought up in love, brought up in faith, know what's right and what's wrong and when you're into that mode of discipline and training then it's for the betterment of family and of society as well and so we wish you well in that whole area of the child development as a person with faith hope and love as we gather now we pray in the lord's name for the child and for all our intentions my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized and on all the parents and godparents and on all the baptized. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light, give her the new life of baptism and welcome her into your holy church. Lord, hear us. Through baptism and confirmation, make young Sienna Marie faithful follower and witness to your gospel, Lord, hear us. Lead now Sienna Marie by holy life to the joys of God's kingdom, Lord, hear us. Make the lives of Mummy <coughs> and Daddy, Ronnie and Kelsey, and the godparents, Christina and Ryan, examples of faith to inspire this child, Lord, hear us. And keep the family always in your love. Lord, hear us. And renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. Lord, hear us. And we have the invocation now of the saints. <clears throat> Wherever you go in Ireland, whatever parish you enter, there's always some very much religious <clears throat> foundation there, be it a holy well or be it an ancient site of religious denomination from the past. And so there's always that psyche of of faith in the, in the land. And so we pray uh, that that child will always bring that faith wherever the child goes in life.
And now we ask the saints now for their prayers as we intercede. Holy Mary, Mother of God, to pray for us. St. John the Baptist, to pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. Our Lady, pray for us. Holy men and women, pray for us and for Sienna Marie. Now, I'm going to anoint the child on the chest, so mother, if you have the child there, or father can help as well. The wee uh, buttons here at the back, and I'll just anoint up here below the neck on the upper chest there. And that's going to be with the oil of catechumen. It's a reminder that baptism um, isn't just an empty formula, but is a power, and it's the power of God to assist the child, wherever the child in life even as adult, calls upon God for help. God always strengthens the child from whatever it is uh, that is the sinful in the child. And so we pray for that grace of God to be always there to assist the child in life. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child, set her free from original sin, make her a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell in her. This we ask through Christ our Lord. We're going now to uh, bless the water that's here and also to renounce sin and profess our faith. And the blessing of the water, and this takes place now with the three parts, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise to you, Almighty God and Father, for you have created water to cleanse and to give life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, the Father's only Son, for you offered yourself on the cross that in the blood and water flowing from your side, and through your death and resurrection, the church might be born. Praise to you, God, the Holy Spirit, for you anointed Christ at his baptism in the waters of Jordan, so that we might all be baptized into you. Come to us, Lord, Father of all, and make holy this water which you have created, so that all who are baptized in it may be washed clean of sin, and be born again to live as your children. Make this water holy, Lord, so that all who are baptized into Christ's death and resurrection by this water may become more perfectly like your Son. Lord, make holy this water which you have created, so that all those whom you have chosen may be born again by the power of the Holy Spirit and may take their place among your holy people. Now the uh, godparents and the parents have to make uh, promises in regards to renunciation of sin, profession of faith. Uh, we may have baptism, but if there's no faith in the home, then the Holy Spirit can run out just like water from a sink. Uh, but if there's faith and love in the home, uh, then there can be uh, welling up and great cleansing in a person's life. And uh, so just as a water can run through a canyon without making any difference, and, uh, but if a water runs through fertile soil, uh, then it makes a difference. So we pray that the fertile soil of faith and love may be in your home to make a difference for the child. And so the uh, renunciation of sin and profession of faith is made by the godparents. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present young Sienna Marie for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, young Sienna is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, Mummy and Daddy and Godparents, you must make it your constant care to bring up Sienna Marie in the practice of the faith. See that the divine love, 
What God gives the child is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in her heart. Now, mommy and daddy and godparents, if your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. So I ask you, mommy, daddy, and the godparents, do you reject Satan, all his works, and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? And this is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now, could you bring your wee child forward for baptism? Now we have just anointed the child there with the oil of chrism and in time to come the child will be confirmed with that same oil. Now that the parents are helping the child towards that age of faith and love, uh, come confirmation the child will be able to stand on her own two feet and declare her love for God and her uh, love for others. And now we're going to have the um, clothing with the white garment. Uh, the godmother is going to be there with the, God, with the mother and the white garment is going to be placed around the child. You have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example bring that dignity unstained into everlasting life. In the ancient days, adults used to come forward for baptism. Uh, they would get maybe into the lake or a river, get baptized. And they would take off their clothes and go into the lake, get baptized, and come out the other side in a white tunic placed on them. 
and that described leaving the old ways, the old clothes behind, and being newly clothed now in Christ, in Christ being that sense of directedness and given uh, the, the warmth of life and love. Now the lighted candle, Godfather, could you light the candle from the Paschal candle here before you, please? Now, parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ to walk always as a child of the light. And may the child keep the flame of faith alive in the heart. When the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus, may the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. You put on Christ in him you have been baptized. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could I invite now uh, your Godfather, Godmother, and the mommy and daddy with the baby to come over here to the front of the steps here. And by coming over here and being in the center aisle, it's where the child is going to be gathered in time and the other sacraments there, whenever they are, to come, depending on the child's age, and the child now to avail of all the rights and privileges of the church. Now, dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism, now called child of God, for so indeed she is. In confirmation, in about 11 or 12 years' time, she will receive the fullness of God's Holy Spirit. In Holy Communion, in about eight years' time, she will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us now, all of us together, say the Lord's Prayer, the prayer given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now the blessing of the mummy, the proud mother. Happy day for her, with her good man as well here, standing, and for the blessing now, first of all, of the mother. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers, as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of the child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with her in thanking him forever in heaven in Christ Jesus our Lord. And now, Kelsey, having been blessed, now Rory uh, be blessed, the father of the child. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of the child. He and his good wife will be a partner, will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. And the blessings upon all of you here gathered. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon all of you here gathered. May he make you always, wherever you may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he set his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I, I hear now another baby that I baptized just a matter of a few weeks ago as well. And uh, so the, you, you've been through it before. And uh, so obviously that wee child of yours will know this child too over the years. And uh, so we pray that they be best of uh, good bodies together as well through life. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you here gathered, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now if you want to take a photograph of the happy 